Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. As you can probably tell from the title of the video, this is going to be about the Meyerton P300 sailing tool. But before I start, I want to show off this knife because I really like this uh, stainless steel knife uh, by West Products. And the whole reason I like it is because of the Sea-Line uh, logo on it. It's just, uh, you know, one of those inexpensive uh, Marlin Spike knives from back in the 60s and 70s. You got your sheep foot blade. There's the logo. West Products, USA. And somewhere on here, well, there it is. 100% stainless steel. Who knows what kind of stainless steel. And then you got your non-locking Marlin Spike on the other end and uh, your nice bail there. Um... Uh, just wanted to show it because uh, it's one of my favorite uh, knives in my Marlin Spike knife collection and never really going to probably do a video on it, but figured what the heck, I'll show it off in this one. But also, as you can tell, it's pretty much the standard layout of your typical Marlin Spike knife that's based off of that uh, knife that the U.S. Navy used to use way back in World War II and might still be using today. Uh, here's another version of it. Uh, this one is by Camillus. It's got a... Uh, the bird's eye rivet so I really like that one now the reason I'm showing this one is because it is very much your typical marlin spike knife so you have the locking marlin spike and the bail up here where it acts as a latch that can you can use to close the marlin spike and then you've got your sheep foot blade and the only thing that's keeping that blade open is the tension of the uh, back spring so it's your typical slip joint and closes fast no half stop definitely could take off a finger if it's in the way so there's your uh, typical marlin spike knife and what i want to look at is something that's a little less typical but before i move on they did make some changes to it here's another camillus one i did a video on this one and what camillus did is instead of having a uh, uh, slip joint it has a liner lock and this is a, almost a frame lock and that makes this blade nice and secure and it also allows you for actual well one hand opening and closing because you can't actually grab this and pinch it and flip it open um, I've got a video on this knife and this is really a pretty good uh, Marlin Spike knife uh, AUS-8 uh, steel with a titanium coating on both the uh, spike and on the uh, blade. Uh, I've already done a video on that. I'll link to it. Let's move on to something that's truly innovative though in a Marlin Spike knife. And that brings us to Meyerchen. Now, not everyone has heard of the name Meyerchen. Uh, Meyerchen is not your typical knife company. Meyerchen makes nautical knives. Um, John Meyer Chin is a sailor. Uh, he founded a company because he was not satisfied with your typical Marlin Spike knives and thought he, he could do better and he actually does do better. Uh, some of his knives are even used by the United States Coast Guard and such. Um, but what I'm going to be looking at is one specific knife of his which is basically an economy kind of knife. It's a, it's a lower priced knife. Most of Meyerton knives, he makes both uh, folding and fixed blade knives, start around $60 and then they go up, depending on the finish and everything else. But one knife is different, and that is the P300 sailing tool, and that's what we're really going to be looking at. Now, all Meyerton knives come with a nylon sheath. Well, not all of them. I mean, uh, all other folding knives seem to come with a nylon sheath, and it's got the little Meyerton loco on the top right there. And uh, it's made out of nylon because it's going to hold up better around salt water and such. Uh, leather would start cracking pretty quick. There's only one way to carry it. It's up and down. There's no uh, side carry. I guess you could actually attach a couple more loops if you wanted to to do some side carrying and... Uh, uh not sure what you would do to make it molly compatible but i guess some people out there could probably figure it out uh, it closes with a velcro closure which is handy so it's easy to open and you see one corner is more easy to open than the other corner but it opens fairly easily and then we have uh 
the product on the inside, which is a knife, which is really what you came here to see. And that brings us to the P300 sailing tool. And right away, you notice it doesn't look like your typical Marlin spike knife. I mean, right away, you see pliers at the top. Also, it kind of looks like a fish, which is pretty cool. Overall length of this knife is about five inches long because of the pliers. And what the pliers are actually there for is so that you can open up shackles on sailboats and such. Um, and so you can just crack that open a little bit, get a good grip on the uh, shackle, and um, and give it a good turn. Now some knives, including uh, some Meyerton's, put a shackle key in uh, in the blade, which isn't the best place to put it. I think Meyerton does a better job than Sog. For one thing, theirs is larger. And they also put uh, a shackle key on their regular Marlin spike that they have with their fixed blade knives. So shackle keys are definitely necessary. Uh, it beats slipping your Marlin spike into the uh, into the little hole on the uh, on the turn on the uh, shackles and turning it because you can uh, scratch up your spike and kind of roughen it up around line and stuff which you don't necessarily want to do. But uh, this one is really interesting because you got pliers and it's going to work on just about any size uh, shackle. I usually um, use uh, a finger here and inside to uh, can push this open and back. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that. That's what I end up doing though. Um, but you can see that the jaws of the uh, pliers are operated through the Marlin spike. And if you notice, there's some really good teeth. Let me see if I can get them to focus there. Some pretty good teeth on that uh, on the jaws, so that you can actually get a good purchase on the uh, on the uh, shackle. Now this portion here is more like jimping. It's really not the same as what the uh, the teeth on the jaw are like. And when you open it all the way up, the jaw disappears on the inside, and you've got a place to rest your thumb. And if you also notice. There's a, a flat spot there, so you can get your fingers in there and hold that uh, spike better. And uh, it really actually feels good. Now, you'll also notice that the direction is definitely different than what you have on the old uh, Marlin spike knives. And actually, this actually makes it more comfortable to hold and actually get in there and use. Um, and the fact that you have the flat portion there allows you to get a good grip so that this thing is not going to turn on you. So it's really good for getting into line and stuff. Not particularly sharp, and it really doesn't need to be any sharper than it is. I suppose if you wanted to, you could get a file and sharpen it up a bit, but the idea isn't to uh, be puncturing stuff with it. It's, it's, a, it's a spike for uh, splicing lines and stuff and digging stuff out, but um, really like the way that wicked shape is to it uh, but it's also purpose built it just feels good in your hand when you get it there and uh, despite all the bumps on here you can actually get a good grip on there and hold this thing in a number of ways and it feels comfortable and you do have the uh, liner lock holding it in place notice how far across that liner lock drops to it's not like it's just barely catching a corner so this is really well made and the action closing and opening is extremely smooth. A little tight, but extremely smooth. And so there you have the pliers and the marlin spike, just terrific. Uh, let's take a look at the blade. Okay, we've already seen the blade on your traditional uh, marlin spike knife. Um, three inch long sheep foot blade, about a half inch thick. What you have in the Meyer tin is a totally different shaped blade. Um, the sheep foot blade is no more as far as John Meyer tin is concerned. Instead, you've got this sheep's head blade. And you'll notice right away that it is substantially shorter, almost three quarters of an inch shorter than the old sheep foot blade. Um, and you'll also notice that it is mostly a serrated blade. Now, serrated blades are not new to sailing. Um, the reason they use a serrated blade often is because uh, it's been found to cut through uh, man-made uh, lines better than the um, the fine edge blade. So that's what this is here for because it's going to cut through a nylon line better than a fine edge sheep foot blade. And um, 
that was the philosophy behind the blade. And if you notice, the very tip of it, about a half inch of the tip is not serrated. That has nothing to do with a, um, uh, having a portion of the blade being a fine edge so that you have a fine edge to work with, though that does help a little bit with the tip so that you can cut into things a little bit better and like scribe and such. But I think the main reason the tip is um, not serrated is so that um, it has a little bit more strength and is less likely to break. Um, a good concept to have on there. As you can see here on the back, it just says stainless china. Uh, according to the packaging and according to the other stuff I've read on here, um, the steel actually is 440C. I'm not sure why Meyerton doesn't bother to post that. It might be so that they can change it over time. Also, if you notice, it is a liner lock and it lines up fairly well. I mean, it's right there in the center. And you can press down and close this and open it one-handed all day long. Left or right-handed, you can do it. Left-handed it's a little trickier, but left-handed people figure it out pretty quick how to move that over and uh, get their thumb out of the way to close the blade. And uh, I'm left-handed. I use this all the time and it works great. Uh, and us, another modern feature you see on it is the, um, is the pocket clip. And uh, if you notice, the pocket clip is removable. However, you cannot change its position. This is the only place that you can unscrew in the pocket clip. And part of the reason is because you have a bail on this end. And uh, you do want a bail on a uh, Marlin spike knife so that you have somewhere to attach a lanyard so you don't lose it, uh, you know, in rough seas or something. You want to be able to tie your knife to yourself. So it makes sense to keep that even though you do have a pocket clip and a sheath for this. Um, like I said, the pocket clip is removable. It would have been interesting to have it able to be moved over to the other side, but if you did that, then you would lose the whale on the uh, handle. So I think that's why that pocket clip does not move, simply because of uh, the whale on the handle. And Myrchin has a whale on every knife they make, and it's pretty cool. Nice little logo they have going. Um, these handles, they're made of aluminum, which keeps the weight of this down quite a bit, uh, which really uh, makes another reason why it's considered a modern folder. You know, you're using aluminum instead of stainless steel on the handles. Um, they are just uh, pinned on. You're not going to be able to remove them or anything. And also something else that makes this very much a modern knife is you can see through it no problem at all there and so you can clean this out really well doesn't collect dust or anything like that uh, everything falls right through the anodized aluminum portions on this knife also come in red and blue uh, i chose the uh, silver because i figured it would hide scratches better than the red and blue do and i think i still think that's probably correct uh, but overall i mean let's face it the action on the knife is extremely smooth. It works great. One hand opening is no problem whatsoever for the blade. A little trickier for the Marlin spike, but you can actually grab it and push it open one handed. And uh, by pushing against something, you can close the Marlin spike uh, one handed also. And you've got the pliers there. So using, uh, using that for shackle keys is going to be a little bit easier and it has less wear and tear on your Marlin spike and um, easier to get on there instead of a uh, shackle key that is cut into a spike or into a blade or something of that nature. So uh, much easier for a person to use the pliers than any other kind of uh, shackle key that you find on a Marlin spike knife these days. And um, you've got an interesting blade shape in the sheep's head blade but also a very useful sheep's head blade. So everything about this knife screams modern Marlin spike knife, and it really works great. And at 30 bucks, it's really uh, easy on your wallet too. So even if you're not somebody's in the sailing, you can probably find a use for something like this. And uh, I know I just uh, really dig it. And it's one of my favorite modern folders. Uh, even though I guess some people look at it and go, that's not a modern folder. But to me, 
definitely a modern take on the old Marlin spike knife, which means um, it's a modern folder, and at 30 bucks, it's uh, a modern folder that most people can afford. Hey, and it comes with a sheath and a pocket clip, so your carry options are endless. This is the part where I usually do the specifications, but before I do that, I'm going to compare this knife to an old Camilla's uh, Marlin Spike knife. And you'll notice right away that the uh, P300 is a, a good inch longer than the uh, Marlin Spike uh, made by Camilla's, and it's also quite wider too. Now both spikes are about the same length, about three inches, but the one on the Meyerton has a distinct curve to it, whereas the one on the Camillus is relatively straight like most traditional pattern Marlin spike knives. And finally you see the very big departure between the sheep's head blade on the Meyerton and the traditional sheep foot blade you see on the Camillus uh, Marlin spike knife. Hopefully you found that side-by-side -side comparison uh, useful. Let's move on to the actual specifications of the Meyerton P300. So the overall length of the Meyerton P300 is uh, 5 inches or 127 millimeters. It has anodized aluminum handles and the uh, blade and marlin spike and jaw for the uh, pliers is uh, 440C stainless steel. The jaws on the pliers are approximately 1 inch or 25 millimeters long, and they are operated using the Marlin Spike. The sheep's head blade, like the rest of the P300, was designed by John Meyerton. It measures uh, 2 and 3 eighths inches long, or um, 60 millimeters, and features dual thumb studs for left or right hand opening, and is a liner lock blade that is fully serrated. And the knife features a 3 inch or 76 millimeter long Marlin spike that has got a curve to it, which makes it easier to manipulate when you're using it, and it makes it less likely to turn in your hand. Uh, also, as you can tell, the knife has a pocket clip or a vest clip so that uh, you can uh, just latch it to your equipment, as well as a uh, bail for a lanyard. And finally, besides the silver that was featured in this uh, video, Meyerchen also offers this knife in red and blue anodized aluminum scales. And finally, I'd like to know what you think about the Meyerchen P300. Is this not a cool looking knife? And uh, isn't it a great departure from your typical Marlin Spike knives that you have out there? Do you think it's better than a traditional Marlin Spike? Um, and do you think it's a modern knife? I mean, is this a modern folder or not? In any case, love to hear your thoughts on this and any other videos that I have out there. And uh, it's your thoughts that keep me moving. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats. And if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.